Okay, so let's have a look at the uh, Draft Helper. For a long time, we have had support for the Draft Helper in Quick Drafts. Premier and Traditional Draft support is something new that has just released with version 1.6. So I'm going to demonstrate uh, it in this draft, uh, and I'm mostly going to go for looking at the rankings when drafting, and let's see if we can piece together uh, a good deck. So just going into a Premier draft and waiting for players to join. So at this point, the draft helper has not loaded yet. Uh, it sits in the background waiting for the draft to start. We have found our opponents. And let's get ready. Let's see what we got. So uh, this is timed. Uh, but we still have some time to look at our draft ratings here. <clears throat> you can see how many cards you have collected. And also the priority of the pick. Uh, so in this case, yeah, I think we should just, uh, we, we won't go stri strictly for the ratings. Uh, the ratings doesn't uh, look at what colors I am in. But there's a lot of strong cards in this uh, pack. Uh, but we're gonna go f uh, with this guy. Roadran. And as soon as my pick is confirmed, I will get new ratings for the next cards. And so what does he want me to pick now so all the cycle one cost cycle cards are uh, very highly rated and so are the uh, lands so you can't blindly look at the cards at the top you have to look at what uh, color you are in so Dranic stinger is a solid pick but there's not any card share that I feel like are bomb worthy. So this card with only 1.5 in rating, we definitely don't want that. I'm just gonna go with the Dranit Stinger here. You can see that I have a lot of uh, packs in my queue. Void Beckner, quite good. So black, <laughs> I definitely don't want to pick a double black if I want to be the Jet Sky Colors. Could rather go with the Porky Parrot. We also have Pacifism in my color. I have another Dragon Stringer, we don't need that. I don't like picking this early. I would rather have... Uh, I think I would rather have this guy. We're gonna go with the Parrot. This next pack, Sprite Dragon. This is actually, if you want to go with the Jeskai colors, this is uh, a solid pick. It's another two color card though, so we definitely want to play blue and red. If we go with that. So the other three rated card is Fertility, that, that's not any of my colors. So let's go with this Dorat, the perfect pet, or Sprite Dragon. So in the next pack, Inside Mentor is really good. Mentoring a creature and then you can boost it afterwards. If we can pick up another, if we can pick up some other creatures with Vigilance, we will be very good to go. This is also the card that is highest up on the list. The other one is Deadweight and Greater Sandworm. I am neither of those colors. And then there's Spontaneous Flight. Okay. Cunning Knight Bonder. Dranit Healer. Not my color. Ferocious Gorilla. Uh, like we can go with this guy, but this is also pretty good for cycling and this this isn't really I played this a couple of times and I don't I Don't feel it's good in It might it might not be good in the deck. We are trying to play here So I'd rather go go with the granite healer. You can always cycle it away. This is a solid pick <laughs> Cycle card, but let's look at the list Change of Forever Beast, Thieving Otter. That's good. I think we're going to go with him. So th th those are good because you can just cycle them away. So, But it's better to have a, a playable solid card. Migration Path, Evolving Wilds. I think... Well, do I want to go... Yeah, Evolving Wilds is pretty strong. Another teeming otter. I can't go go for blood too. I think I won't go for blood. 
with the option to fight. But I was hoping to splash one of the colors. It might be, yeah, it might be blue that we splash. We'll see. Channel Force, Will of the All Hunter. I actually don't remember what this card does. Discard X cards, draws X. Okay, that's pretty nice. That's pretty nice. I'm hoping for red and white to be my main colors. Uh, Cordial Chart is on the top. We're going to take that. It has cycle two. We're starting to get to the bottom of the litter here. Uh, only one of those I will be able to play is this. So I'm going to pick that. Uh, so I own all of these cards. It doesn't matter which I pick. At least, I, at least it's blue. I'm not gonna play it. It's uh, very low rated. Two. Ooh, a red rare. Nice. Also, the one that has high speed. So, as you can see, it doesn't show the alternate art, it shows the uh, original card. Pouncing Shore Shark is also very good. Also, in the Jeskai colors. Man, this is a really good. Uh, this is a very good removal, but this is a rare bomb, and I I really want to. I really want to play this card. It's either win the game or cycle it away if you don't need it. Yeah, we have a lot of options here. This is a very interesting card. It's a lot better in another type of deck, though. I want to. I just went with the counter spell. I think that's. Uh, I want some instant spells. Blade vanish. So we have this card. We can play this, but this is also not ideal for the deck I'm trying to play. Most of the cards are not in my color, so we have two types of removal. I don't have a lot. Of, this is best in gruel. I might go for Blade Vanish instead. Like, I have big creatures, but they are so expensive. I have a lot of small, too. I think I'm going to go with Blade Vanish here. Even though it has a little bit lower rating. Divine Arrow. Skull Prophet. Can play. So this is another guy with Cycle. We are probably going to go with Divine Arrow. It feels good to get some removal. So, <clears throat> the ideal thing to do here is to to read the review by Luis Gat Var Vargas on Channel Fireball. Get a little bit familiar with the cards, because you don't have a lot of time. So, you, you don't have time to read all the comments, but you have the time to read, like, the top comments, if you need to. Um, so, this is really a really helpful tool for you to get started with drafts. And also later, if you uh, if you are very familiar, you can look up and look on a second opinion. You can also disable the uh, ratings in the settings, and then you only have the uh, collection tool. You can see what uh, what cards you are missing. Blade Vanish seems like the peak. No, wait, Rooting Moloch. I didn't see him. Yes, uh, we have enough removal now that we should not pass this strong uh, card. Man, I'm keep getting really good cards. I'm excited to know if I can put together a nice deck. I actually no, I oh I kind of forgot one thing. I regret picking neutralize. I shouldn't have picked that. I don't want that many blue cards. But now we're still getting a really good red cards. Red seems open, so this is a top pick, and then there's a granite stinger. Wow. Quality cards, but the pick ratings doesn't tell you anything about synergies, so uh, that is one thing that uh, this uh, these ratings does to help you with. I do not have enough spells to cast or to to make that efficient. So this is one slash three. If I'm spell heavy, I do not think so. Instant Sorcery 6, 7. Ah! We can take the, this. 
But I like the officer. There's also go for blood. No, we don't want that. We're probably gonna go with go for blood. I have had him do a lot of good stuff for me too. Man, I'm getting really good cards. Now it's uh, <laughs> now it's stopped. I also own all these cards, so it doesn't matter what I pick. And that's basically Walt progress. And we'll pick this. This is... Um, yeah, I haven't found a lot of use for that in these drafts. Yeah, I see that I'm missing one of these. So I'm gonna take that. For collection. Uh, didn't I already pick that? Okay, my last rare. Uh, so that's not playable for me. I do not... Well... I have an Evolving Wilds. I have an Evolving Wilds. And this card, together with the other Menace card that I passed earlier, if I had gotten the other uh, Menace card, I would definitely pick this up. Because this is crazy. This is crazy good. Parcel Beast, I don't have him either. So uh, I think we're gonna go with Lord Drakis here. But man, this card is bonkers. Someone's gonna be happy. I pa no, I passed it the other way, so I don't. So that player won't get it. So you can see the picks stay here until you get a new pack. And now they've changed. Uh, so, wow. That's a pretty good card for me. So we have Splendor Mare. We have Avian Oddity for three. In rating. And this, wow. Pretty good. Um, this is very good though. This is good removal. I, I feel like I'm going to get a lot of <coughs> removal anyway. Uh, we can also pick that. Oh my god, Inspire Ultimatum. I can actually live the Jeskai dream here and go for this since I am Jeskai. And uh, <laughs> as you can see, this is uh, quite a high pick. Because you basically win the game with this. You gain 5, you deal 5 damage, and you draw, uh, draw 5 cards. So this is, uh, this is my pick. I got pretty lucky in this draft. Holy crap. <laughs> and who to have to what oh my lord i'm getting pretty lucky in this draft this is not how my usual drafts go <laughs> uh over 25 cards and i'm still getting a lot of uh, cool Ooh, another one of those yeah this is uh, this is pretty awesome a good black card, so I'll pass that on, I guess. I guess... Yeah, I'll do because I either I want either of these. Do you have a, I have a couple of cycling ones, so this is quite good. You can also probably pick up some crap cycling cards. And we also got the Frostlings, nice. Spell Eater Wolverine, we can probably play him. I think so. I think we have support. Uh, like Frost Links, we're not that kind of deck that can maximize his potential. So I think it's okay. And another pretty high pick in blue. Wow. So what what I will do and another cycling card. This is pretty nice. And what? I think a lot of my non Human cards are pretty strong. Well, uh, we have some small. Yeah, this is this is good. Uh, and I did pick another one. Yeah, I definitely want that instead of the cycle card. Another Avian Oddity. Holy shit! This is also playable. Okay, so what I will do. Is I will uh, build the deck. I will show you the deck after I've built it. I will not show you the deck building process. It takes a lot of time. Uh, but you can see what I end up with. Yeah, I'm going to pick Dead White. Wait, because I don't have it. I have all of these cards. What? Blade Vanish? Okay. Uh, there's a lot of times that card doesn't do anything. So I'm playing Premier Drafts here. 
and uh, there's no best of three, so uh, I might not even play that card. I might play one of them. Okay, that's it. The draft helper will close, and you can build uh, begin building your deck. So that's the demonstration of the uh, draft helper. So uh, the next thing I'm going to do with the draft helper is I'm going to make support for logging the drafts. So currently we only log bot drafts where you can look at the picks and you can view the card pool of the draft deck. Uh, we're going to make this exportable too in the future. Uh, but for now um, we need to add the support for traditional and premier drafts. So that's next. Okay, I'm going to build and uh, let's look at my deck after I'm done. Okay, so I think I'm nearing the end here. Um, I decided to cut, uh, usually you play 17 lands, so I decided to play 16. Might even play 15, I'm not quite sure, I need to try a little bit. I have a, I have a like a cycle deck with uh, an Iset uh, Spell Smatter deck here. So this um, has a lot of cycle payoff. And I also have a lot of Spell Smatter cards like this. And this that can get back an instant or sorcery. There's a lot of stuff going on in this deck. I'm currently on 41 cards and trying to figure out which card I want to cut. It might be this. Like th this is a spell matter card, but it is going to be a bit hard to cast all my... Uh, well, this has cycle, so of course it might not be that hard to fill the graveyard with uh, cards. I'm actually... A little bit unsure if I want to cut a land or if I want to cut a card like this will probably not do a lot it's probably like deal one damage I have I don't have a really good mutate theme here I have that and I have uh, yeah Rodan I have this card that's also a mutate card but I think yeah I think we cut him so we are at 40 cards 16 lands we have a couple of instant and sorcery spells, like seven. I would like more, but I feel this is fine. A lot of them are uh, cycling spells. But all in all, I think this is pretty good. And as you saw, most of these cards were basically the top picks in my color. Picked from the draft helper. I was very lucky in this draft though, so usually you're not this lucky with getting the correct cards. I did waste a good opportunity when I picked this card. I have some really good choices there. I, I kind of forgot that I didn't want to pick a lot of blue cards. Uh, definitely not double blue. Uh, so, uh, but here we are, I guess. <laughs> uh, I will, yeah, I'll, I'll look a little bit closer. I will adjust the lands here. I don't think yeah, we should have five blue. So I'm, I'm going to look a bit into that. And thank you guys for watching and check out MTG Assistant. Uh, download link in the description. Uh, it is uh, an extension we have made. It works with traditional and uh, premier drafts now. So go check it out. And I'll see you in the next one.